ब्राइट ड्यूटी एवरी स्टूडेंट मैटर्स इज बाय बेटर हाउस कीपिंग प्रैक्टिस बिकॉज वी नो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी आर इन दी हाउसेज एंड यू नो आर मॉम यू नो आर मॉम्स और एनी बडी हु इज वर्किंग फॉर आस इज डूइंग वेरियस थिंग्स यू नो आर डूइंग वेरियस थिंग्स यूजिंग दी वॉटर and uh, if they are not aware we should help them in getting aware as to what is what are the things that they are doing wrong and how can they correct it right if we start practicing better housekeeping uh, you know practices what will happen first of all we will reduce uh, the load on the uh, treatment plants and also we will contribute to a healthier and safer and cleaner society right so first of all let's understand that uh, there are contaminants we know that there are contaminants in the waste water uh, so what we want to do is we want to eliminate or rather i should say we want to reduce right reduce the contaminants that are there which not only are you know we can be disposed of in different ways but also if we put it into the waste water what will happen is that they will cause harm to the whole system what are these contaminants and how we can improve let's understand that so the very first thing is the very first thing is that we shouldn't throw cooking oil cooking oil and fats into the drain right so and fats should not be thrown into the drain should not be thrown in drain so as you can see in this picture over here which is marked as wrong right what is happening that the cooking oil see what happens is when you are frying something say if you are frying a uh, uh, say a uh, uh, pakora suppose and you are frying something with uh, you know maida in it what happens is the uh, you know the <coughs> cooking oil gets a little dirty many a times people don't use it again and what they do is that they will pour that cooking oil into the drains of their sink as you can see in this picture but that is the wrong way why because if you do this what are the consequences they hard they become hard and they block the pipes right for first thing which they do is they can become they become hardened and block the pipes so uh, fats also include ghee if it is there if you are not using if it is wasted so it, instead of throwing it into the uh, you know into your drains what you can do is you can throw it into the dust bins right so this can be uh, disposed of easily now uh, in the earlier in your uh, further sessions in your uh, free uh, you know further classes you will study that how the garbage is also disposed right so this can be done and uh, you know all of this can be managed by the garbage system right but over here what we are trying to do is we are trying to talk about the you know waste disposal in the uh, sinks or drains so we should not add or we should not throw cooking oil and fats into the drain because these will eventually harden and they will block the pipe now if there is an open drain right this is uh, the pipes that we are talking about is say from the uh, you know uh, it's from the houses the closed pipes that we have but in the case of open drain what happens is in open drain the fat what it does is it clogs again understand the fat what it is doing is it clogs the soil pores clogs the soil pores and it uh, reduces the you know filtering capacity of the water so an open drain as you saw is consist of your soil also and many a times when there is uh, fat in this open drain suppose there is a open drain in a locality and what happens is a person a, you know say a homemaker comes out and throws the cooking oil and fat into that water in that waste water in that open drain what happens is suppose this is the open drain and at the bottom there is soil right so this soil what it does it it acts as a filtering unit through which the you know waste water might go 
uh, you know might get filtered out right but in the case if you are adding uh, your uh, this you know open uh, if you are adding cooking oil or fat into it what happens is that the pores which act as the filter for the waste water are clogged and that's why what happens is that the filtering in the open drain will not take place and this water will remain in that open drain right and it will start to stink and it will start to get, uh, start decomposing right so instead of throwing it into the uh, sink we should throw all these things into the dust bits right then this is one what is the other things which we can do this is the first thing right what is the other thing which we can do chemicals like your paints right solvents Remember students, we are all talking about the liquid things over here which can be thrown into the drains or wash basins, right? Also insecticides, insecticides, motor oils, medicines etc. shouldn't be motor oils, medicines. All of these things shouldn't be thrown into the drains. Why? Because these will kill the microbes right they will kill the microbes that help in purifying the water right so they will kill the microbe and these microbes help in purifying water how do they help by decomposing right so what they do is they if there is any material which is there in the water they will consume it they will you know decompose it to reduce it into a further simpler forms which can further be utilized by you know it can be sucked up, sucked into the soil and can be utilized by the plant but if these chemicals like paints solvent insecticides motor oils all of these are added into the waste water if you throw in into the waste water what will happen the microbes which are there will get killed and and uh, what will happen that uh, these microbes which assist in the purification of the water they will not be able to do it anymore and it will be quite dangerous for uh, you know the uh, for the uh, wastewater why because it, if these microbes are not there then again the uh, accumulation of waste will keep on happening in the wastewater and it will uh, give rise to more of the disease causing microbes and uh, animals right then apart from that what else can be done is that used tea leaves used tea leaves solid food remains right then soft toys soft toys cotton etc should be recycled right these should be thrown first of all used tea leaves solid food remains some of these items can be reused as your compost that is it can be put into the composting and can be reused uh, as manure right apart from that soft toys you know rags if you remember when we were talking about uh, the water uh, you know waste water purifying uh, process in that we saw the first one was bar screen in which we saw the uh, large pieces of garbages like uh, large pieces of garbage that your like your rag so rag is what it's a cloth uh, piece which can which could have been thrown into the uh, garbage and it could have been utilized by maybe recycling or any other purpose but in the case when we are you know uh, not thinking about the consequences of throwing things into the open drains right usually cotton and soft toys and sanitary uh, towels all of these things are usually thrown into the open drains uh, students these open drains also go into the wastewater treatment plant right so all of this when thrown into the open drains it becomes really difficult or it rather increases the load of the waste water treatment plant so we want to avoid that right so this should also be thrown into dustbins there are the uh, you know dustbins where you have one part which is recycled another part which can be utilized to make say compost right for example your used tea leaves solid food remains all of these can be used as compost and you know further can be used for gardening purposes but these are 
the things soft toys cotton all of these things if they are thrown in the uh, in the drains what happens is that they choke the drain right when they choke the drain what happens that they stop the free flotation of the oxygen when the oxygen is not there then what will happen that the degre uh, degradation process through the aerobic bacteria is stopped now if you remember what happened was in the treatment process in the treatment plant one of the process was aeration right and why we did aeration was to increase the amount of oxygen in the waste water so that the aerobic bacteria may increase and they may cause the degradation of various substances so if you throw all of these things in the drain it will choke up the pipe and this will cause the degradation or lo lowering the amount of oxygen thus reducing the aerobic bacteria and stopping the degradation process so all of these method all of these things should be kept in mind uh, on day to day basis we see that these things are actually causing harm to the environment and increasing the load of the water treatment plants if we follow these steps what will happen that it will help in reducing the amount of waste water first of all waste whatever garbage is present in the waste water thus reducing the load of the waste water treatment plant so if you remember the question that was asked by paheli is this particular uh, you know uh, this particular these practices are helping in uh, answering that question right also uh what the government has done is the government of india has started an initiative called as the swachh bharat now this you must know all of it's quite a big it's a quite big initiative which was started by the government and not only and uh, further this uh, you know this initiative not only uh, is uh, you know the steps that are being taken by the government but it has created an awareness all around us right all of the people are aware about this mission and this initiative and people are you know conscious about throwing things uh, here and there causing garbage and even in uh, you know thinking about the waste water now what ha what has actually happened under this mission is that there have been a lot of drives such as proper sewage disposal right providing toilets for everyone have been started one of the missions of swachh bharat is to decrease the amount of open defecation Uh, in the village area specifically there have been cases where uh, the you know people have uh, made with their own money also they have made toilets for you know the public toilets for the usage of the villagers right because under this mission people have started getting aware about all of these things and open defecation is being reduced so this is one of the major uh, achievements of swachh bharat right so uh, what else is there in uh, apart from that there is another uh, way first is that we are creating toilets which are naturally uh, or rather we are creating toilets which we see in our houses in our homes when we are living in the urban society but there is again a particular type of design for a toilet which is quite it's quite an interesting design and is quite a, you know help help first of all helps in reducing the load on the wastewater treatment plant and this is vermi processing toilet what exactly happens is in this case that in this uh, toilet there is a design where the human excreta is treated by the earthworms right because earthworms are involved in it that's why it is called as vermi processing now what happens is that it is a special method which has been tested in india and it is seen as quite a novel low water use toilet for safe processing of human waste now if you remember when we were talking about the waste treatment uh, plant we said that there was a foul waste right this was something which was coming out of the toilets right and again where it went it went to the waste water waste water treatment plant and because of this particular uh, you know foul waste which was coming out through the toilet into the waste water treatment plant what happened was that the load on this uh, waste water treatment plant was increasing but this vermi processing toilet what happens is it has two benefits first of all it uh, you know lowers the water use uh, water use that means uh, we are preserving water 
and then because it's a safe process for processing human waste that means it is not released into the wastewater system and because of this what happens is that uh, further the load on these pro uh, you know plants have reduced right so uh, it's it's very simple and a very hygienic process the operation how does this happen is that uh, you know the ver human excreta is completely converted into vermi compost a so a resource much needed for the soil right so this vermi cakes are actually manures right it acts as manure and what happens this manure is put into the soil and this from this soil it is utilized by the plants right so what do the plants get out of this they get the nutrients so you can see that it has or it holds three benefits first of all it preserves water right it preserves water because low water usage is there then second of all what happens is that redu it reduces the load reduces the load of waste water treatment plant then what happens thirdly is it acts as manure which is helpful for the plant so you can see how interesting this particular uh, vermi processing toilet is and what are its advantages right apart from that there is another advantage that it is first of all a low cost setup right it's a noble low cost setup right it can be practices especially in the villages in india where you do not have the you know huge and complicated sewage system right we have seen that open defecation is a norm usually in our rural areas so when we introduce these kind of vermi processing toilet this helps in the maintenance of the cleanliness and it also achieves the uh, you know the uh, what you can say this also achieves our agenda of the vermi um, uh, of the reduction of the open defecation right so i hope you were able to understand this process completely and you were also able to see what are the things that we can do uh, in our house in our homes to reduce the load on the wastewater treatment plant and what are the things that government is doing to do the same right